Let's also talk about generating sulfonyl chlorides. And that name may not seem familiar to you, sulfonyl chloride, but you probably will remember something like a tosylate group or a mesylate group or a triflate. Well, all of these can be made from the alcohol using um, a sulfonyl chloride uh, reagent. And those are excellent leaving groups. They are some of the best. And you'll recall, if you look back quite a while ago to um, when we were talking about SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions, that these leaving groups did come up like the and they're abbreviated ms tf and ts right but the general structure of the sulfonyl chloride and i i guess i drew this a little close to there so maybe i'll draw it right down here there's the chloride and then sulfonyl part and then we have an r group over here now, if we do this reaction, and we'll also need some pyridine or some base. In here, and you'll see in the mechanism why. It's really just to remove that uh, proton off the alcohol that we started with. Then we'll end up with an excellent leaving group. like so. Now remember these R groups can be uh, different things. So if it's a methyl group, uh, then it's a mesylate, and that's abbreviated MS. Uh, if it is CF3, then it's the triflate, which is abbreviated TF. And if R equals um, basically a toluene, the, the R, the, the rest of it is substituted right here. So this, this will go to the sulfur right here. So I'll just draw the sulfur like that. This is a tosylate. So these, these all make excellent leaving groups. Um, let's just briefly go over the mechanism for this and we'll go ahead and use propanol just to have a, something other than an R group in there and I'm going to pick uh, a mesylate uh, again simply because it's easier to draw but they all have the same mechanism. So that oxygen comes in and attacks the sulfur and electrons move over to either one of these oxygens doesn't really matter which one we have a plus charge here because we do still have that proton on the alcohol which is where our nitrogen base is going to come in draw from here. Does that. And then we'll have the deprotonated version. Then we do our typical electrons come back down to form the double bond and the chloride leaves. And 
now we've turned an alcohol from not a very good leaving group into an amazing leaving group. And again, we can choose either one of these right here. Now, you might say, well, we have other leaving groups. We have uh, bromides, we have other things like that. And yes, that's, that's actually important to bring up right now. Um, we have converted alcohols into better leaving groups by protonating them, by doing other things like that. Sometimes that's not possible. So in other ways that we can do things is uh, to convert these into the bromide using PBR3. Now, if we do so, Recall that that is an SN2 reaction. So the configuration around this carbon will be inverted when we use PBR3, right? SN2 reaction flips the chirality. So if it was an S, it's now an R configuration. Well, what if we didn't want to flip the chirality? Well, it just so happens if you if you're looking at this particular mechanism here that that carbon is not involved in the mechanism. Right? It's only really action happening around the oxygen here and then there's some deprotonating again on the oxygen. This oxygen leaves that that kind of thing. The configuration of that carbon has not changed. Now, in this particular case, it's not chiral, but there are carbons that would be. And so if it was, in fact, let's go ahead and, and do that. If we then instead switch this to, uh, to butane and just put some configuration on it, you'll notice that the configuration is retained. This is a nice feature because now we have the ability to convert alcohols into a better leaving group. And we can do it in one of two ways. We can do our PBR3 and that will invert the uh, configuration and let's just recall that right now so let's say we have this just like we have here and we do PBR3 then if you remember it inverts the configuration sulfonyl chlorides retain the configuration so now we have a choice as to which way we would like the molecule to go. Retention of configuration or inversion. And that can be quite helpful if we're trying to aim at a particular um, chirality. So that is another utility of sulfonyl chlorides. Not just that they make an excellent leaving group, they also retain configuration around the carbon that you're substituting it on.